Those who work it have no better method of restoring their eyes than by looking at emerald. It's soft, green color comforting and removing their weariness and lassitude, wrote Pliny the Elder in the first century CE concerning May's birthstone. He also more aptly and comically wrote that nothing greens greena, but what is an emerald? What is the lore and history behind it? We'll discuss these topics and more today. According to one superstition, a person could foresee the future by placing this gorgeous gemstone under their tongue. But I don't need to French kiss an emerald to foresee you liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you haven't yet, check out my Mooney Fine Mineral of the Month Club. For $10 USD plus shipping, you'll receive a curated mineral each month, a modest write-up, a specimen tag, entry in a monthly giveaway, and as it grows, more. This is episode 6 in my History of Birthstone series. Let's begin. Emerald is a variety of beryl, and if you recall the episode on aquamarine, most of these beryls have simple definitions that are delineated by color. Aquamarine is the sea to sky blue variety, while emerald is the luscious green you see here. Beryls are a beryllium bearing series of silicates. They run 7.5 to 8 on the Mohs scale of hardness and are readily identifiable via their hexagonal crystalline structure. The word beryl is likely derived from the Greek berylos, which referred to a number of blue-green stones in antiquity. Emerald itself gets its name from the Greek word for green. Smaragdus. I like that. And just like many entries in this series, emeralds were highly prized by the Hellenistic world. But also like most of the previous entries in the series, we begin with ancient Egypt. The oldest known emerald mine dates back to 330 BCE in Egypt. Though there are older pieces of jewelry as well as references, this is just the earliest confirmed mine. Emeralds were a symbol of protection in ancient Egypt and would often be buried with their monarchs. Cleopatra reportedly loved emeralds so much that she claimed ownership over all all of the mines of Egypt during her reign. If you recall earlier videos as well, this was also one of the stones on the breastplate of Aaron and has various significances for different Abrahamic faiths. According to the Jewish tradition, emeralds signify the stone of Levi. And according to an Islamic legend, it's one of the four precious stones given by God to King Solomon. That could apparently alter the universe or something. Yet thinking out loud, I wonder if that has ties to the concept of cardinal gemstones, of which emerald is also one, beliefs have a weird way of bouncing around. The indigenous peoples of Colombia had emerald mines so well hidden it took the Spanish conquistadors 20 years to find them. To the Inca of Peru, emerald symbolized the tears of their moon goddess. Among the Muisca, emeralds were a symbol of fertility. Boy oh boy, we're hearing a lot about that lately, huh? This was a belief shared by the ancient Romans who associated the emerald with Venus, the goddess of love and beauty. They also did that with the... They did that with a lot of... This is getting out of hand. It was said to protect lovers from unfaithfulness. In the modern metaphysical community and vernacular, emerald symbolized loyalty. I'm sure you can connect the dots. But regardless of the beliefs surrounding emeralds, and there are even more, this beautiful barrel has been the object of adoration for millennia. So how do they form? Emeralds grow in pegmatites. Pegmatites are essentially veins that form in rocks, existing rocks, during volcanic activity. It forms when magma cools, leaving some elements behind in the remaining fluid. When beryllium and the other necessary elements are present, barrel may form. If enough chromium and vanadium are present, the barrel will be green. In general, emeralds will not be used for industrial purposes, but barrels of lesser quality have applications in aerospace technology as well as for radiation shielding. The vast majority of emeralds that are mined today come from Colombia in South America. However, they are also found in Brazil, Zambia, Pakistan, Egypt, Afghanistan, Russia, Australia, and the U.S. In fact, if you live in the U.S., there are localities in North Carolina, such as the Crabtree Mine and Emerald Hollow Mine, where you can go and search for your own. There are many green gems. 
tourmaline, peridot, verisite, etc. But emerald is the one that truly grabs people's attention and is associated with only the lushest landscapes. Ireland is the Emerald Isle. Seattle is called the Emerald City for some reason. And even though Thailand's most sacred idol is made of jadeite, it's called the Emerald Buddha. Emerald is one of the finest and most treasured minerals in the eyes of man. But what do you think about Emerald? Did you learn anything new? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.